Good morning, I'm Sean. I'm Julie, welcome to Chicory's Travels. Today is Wednesday, the 6th of September, and we want to share with you how we are preparing for a hurricane in our RV. That's right, we're leaving. The beauty of the RV is it has wheels and we intend to use them. We're currently at Jonathan Dickinson State Park in Jupiter, Florida. So that's on the southeast coast of Florida. And although the hurricane models haven't yet indicated for sure if it's going to the east coast or the west coast, let's face it, the state's not all that wide and we don't want to have to deal even with tropical storm winds in our RV. Now I've been seeing on Facebook people asking about what they should do and many people advise get out and we obviously agree with that. But why are we getting out now? This thing's not supposed to hit until when? Start feeling it Friday. Start feeling it Friday but it's not supposed to like actually hit Florida until the weekend. Sometime this weekend. Okay, so Wednesday. Why are we leaving Wednesday? Well, traffic, number one. They've already started evacuations in Key West. There's not many ways to get up and out of Florida. So we want to go ahead and get up now. I saw in the news this morning they might start Miami evacuations tonight. Well, we made it to Georgia. We're in Grassy Pond Campground, a uh, campground off of Moody Air Force Base in southern Georgia. And they were telling us when we checked in that although they're not completely full now, they have reservations for tomorrow and they're even going to be doubling up some sites. So I have seen some people on Facebook asking what they should do if they're living stationary in their RV in Florida and don't have a tow vehicle. And I think that they should still evacuate because it is going to be a very dangerous storm and um, it doesn't take much wind to blow one of these things over and, and we have a pretty big one. I mean really no RV is probably safe in very high winds. And we were driving today um, up 75 and it's Wednesday and there was already a lot of traffic on the highway heading north. Yeah, so waiting until it's mandatory is, is not a good idea unless you just have no other option, like your work won't let you leave until it's mandatory. But if you have an option, I would say go ahead and get out now. And if you have to leave your RV because you don't have a way to tow it, still your life is more important and hopefully you have insurance. And also, please be safe driving because also today on 75, we saw a really terrible accident. The, it was a truck pulling a travel trailer. And first, we just saw the truck on the side of the road with the whole top of it peeled open like a can opener. Sean was driving, so no rubbernecking for him. But I peeked over into the ditch and the travel trailer was on its side and basically burst open. So be safe out there and safe travels.